entails. Yeah. Yeah, it's very simple. Let's get this is the period. I don't think people will be interested in the legality. Yeah. Okay. You read your political yeah. okay. so, okay. yeah. yeah. okay. yeah. then Very well. Very well. Yeah. <coughs> to Kotari. But we're going to make it a Yes. Yeah. Are we ready? Baka was saying when I do they have stuff to put on microphones and everything. Yeah, okay. Okay, let me first of all begin by apologizing for delaying a little bit. We're just finalizing on, on the statement that we are about to deliver. For about a month now, since a by-election was declared in Malindi, I have been at the center of state-sponsored machinations, targeting me individually and businesses linked to me. These acts that amount to persecution, intimidation and blackmail have taken more dramatic and scary turn after the by-election. Suddenly, the government realized I have excess bodyguards that have to be taken away. It was after Malindi was won by ODM that the national government decides that I have guns that I, do, I no longer deserve and that I needed to surrender. These misgivings have been communicated to me in a most uncouth and unprofessional manner. Interior Cabinet Secretary, Mr. Joseph Kayseri, Mr. Nelson Marwa, the Regional Coordinator for Coast, have chosen to speak to me through press conferences. Like serious reservations on this manner of conducting critical matters of states. I will leave the matter of guns to go through legal process that we have instituted in the hope that we can return some decorum and professionalism to chest thumping and threats that national government wants to call debate. I however wish to address more fundamental issues that I believe are at the heart of this grand standing by the interior ministry and that remnant of the old order of provincial administration. Fundamental abuses took place in the Malin by-election that Mr. Nkaiseri must address and which the Jubilee regime is trying to cover up by using made-up stories about guns and bodyguards. Military personnel, complete, complete with armored personnel carriers, were visibly present in Malindi. Mr. Nelson Mar was in charge of national government security agencies that blockaded Malindi. The Interior Ministry presided over a major scaremongering campaign it supervised the blockade of Malindi with military personnel and tankers. This has never been seen before in any by-election. Just before the elections, the Interior Ministry came up with a tale that Mungiki and other terror gangs were regrouping. It was part of the scaremongering that will certainly re-emerge in the coming days to justify a crackdown on opposition, supporters and leaders. A civilian election and a supposedly civilian government being supervised by a military is a massive contradiction. The law is clear about the circumstance under which our military can be deployed. Mr. Nkaiseri and the presidency or the country a nation to this breach of law. It wants to run a civilian regime or it is embracing military rule. I wish to say again, I was elected legally under the laws of Kenya. I remain truly committed to the rule of law and constitutionalism. I remain committed to the spirit of our constitution that creates two levels of government. I of one level of government recognized by the constitution. I also remain deeply committed to the spirit and ideals of my party ODM, where I remain a deputy party leader. I will never betray the ideals and principles of my party. Neither threats nor promise of good rewards will make me change my commitment to the ideals of good governance and separations of power to which ODM is committed. Kenya must remain a nation guided by the rule of law. As for me and my, and my party, I will stand on the side of law and also on the same side 
with my people. Thank you. God bless you and God bless Kenya. Kiswahili kidogo. Wow. No, no. I think we'll go with just that. Yes. Um, towards the end of your statement, you have said that uh, neither promises of uh, whatever rewards and anything will make you change your mind. Are you trying to suggest that there have been such? And secondly, I wish to know exactly what you did with your guns as Governor Ali Hassan Jair. By the way, first of all, I want you to know that the day I went to Malindi by election, I had my guns kept in safe custody. So I never had any weapon with me during the Malindi campaign and the by-election. So there is absolutely nothing that I have done with my guns. And so that you know, I have been a license holder for the last 19 years or so. There has never been any issue, any reported incident, any abuse or any misuse. So I can categorically state here today that there is nothing wrong I have done with my weapons that are licensed to me. Yeah. Well, we will. I just I want us to stick to this issue today. But yes. Government... Let us stick to this issue today. We can have another forum with you to discuss the other details. Yes. Sharia, Sharia na sema hivi. Sharia na sema kwamba muhusika kupiana leseni ana sheria ku license but there are procedures ambazo ziko ndani ya sheria one is that aki revoke hiyo license you have first of all 14 days to comply katika 14 days the law allows that you appeal to the minister na uki appeal that acts as an automate out suspension of the revocation so that's where we are today we are hoping, uh, even though I'm aware, uh, unfortunately, the minister has a predetermined position. Lakini sheria utaifata. Ikishindikana kuna judiciary, tutaendelea mbele. Yes, sir. My name is Morini Moni from ATN. You raised concern about alleged Have you raised those concerns in the IEC and the state security department? It's about your second question. Well, that, that, that's what I said uh, national government did through Nkaiseri and Marwa. In fact, Marwa was very clear on his statements that the, the, the illegal groups regrouping to, to, to come to Malindi particularly. And that for us was part of the scaremongering so that they could use excessive force like we uh, that it happened in Malindi. And therefore, that question is better placed uh, or can be better answered by those that issued those, those statements initially. So, so. Okay. Thank you very much. Asante. Thank you. 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 Thank you.